and knowledge uh, provision. And it is the reason why we are expending a lot of resources in this space because we also know that through education we can equalize the fortunes of all our children. It is the chance we have as society through education to make sure that all our children get the same chance at life. Irrespective of the community you come from, irrespective of the financial background of your parents, irrespective of the region you come from, the provision of education will give us as a society to provide a chance for all our children to have a good chance at life. It is the reason that I undertook that we will progressively ensure that we eliminate the gap that exists in our teacher to student ratio. We must give every child a chance to learn. And we must present them with the best possible opportunity to learn. And it is the reason why the government of Kenya will continue to deploy resources, even when we are constrained by many other factors, economic aspects, um, uh, climate change issues. But this is the one thing we must always never lose focus, to give all our children a chance to be their best. Let me also uh, say that uh, it is the reason why this year we have improved our budget on matters school feeding because many children in our informal settlement, in the pastoral areas, fail to go to school because there is no food at home. And sometimes they don't even have the energy to go to school because they haven't eaten something and it is very important that our children don't lose the chance to go to school because there is a gap of a meal. It is the reason why we are improving our budget. I want to thank members of parliament. When I met the proposal to increase the budget on school feeding from about 1.5 billion to 5.5 billion, parliament approved knowing very well that these are our children. This year, hopefully, we will improve the number of kids that will benefit from school feeding. If all the counties were to come on board, we would actually take it to 8 million kids who will get a meal in school. But working as gov national government, we are targeting 4 million. I did ask, and I want to thank the governor of Nairobi for coming through. I did ask that any county government that puts a shilling in school feeding program, we are going to match that shilling with another shilling so that we can make food accessible to the children who need it to be in school. And you have seen the statistics because we've gone through these numbers. Just by providing a meal in school, the numbers go up by 150% clearly indicating that a meal in school is making a difference in not just attendance in, 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 in school, it also has an effect in school learning outcomes. So this is an exercise we must uh, keep at it. Number two, it is also the reason why we are having a conversation with parliament. I know there is a debate in parliament with our members of parliament on a matching fund for delivery of our junior secondary school classrooms. I want to persuade our members of parliament that to be able to provide sufficient infrastructure for all our children, we are making resources available as national government to match the national government constituency development fund so that we can provide sufficient 
uh, number of classrooms for all our children to transition from 